Hey there, people. It's me. Um, it's 20 after 11 at night, and it really shouldn't be online, but I felt like I should make a video about this. Suicide and self-harm. It's kind of a touchy subject for me and a lot of people, but I felt like I should make a video about it. It's not funny. It's not something to be taken as a joke. It's not at all amusing. So, I don't get why people are making jokes about it. Saying people are doing it to be cool. And saying it's for attention. In some cases, yes. It's for attention. And I frown upon those people. Because they don't understand what they're getting themselves into. If they really, really, truly cut their wrists just for attention, it's going to lead to a lot of other problems that they don't want to get themselves in. Even people who don't do it for attention, people who do it as an escape, they do, a lot of the time they don't know what they're getting themselves into. They don't know all the problems it's going to cause. If it does happen, like if you start, talk to someone. Talk to someone you know you can trust and you know you'll understand. You know who'll understand. I know this is going to sound like another part of my obsession, but the Buy Chemical Romance website, one of the rules on their website is to not post any blogs about self harm or suicide because they care about their fans enough to help them get the help they need. They posted links and, num and phone numbers to the suicide hotline in case someone needs help. Like, don't take that lightly. Use it to your advantage. Use it if you need it. If you need to talk, your friends will listen. Your parents will listen. They may not fully understand, but it's someone who is there to listen. Your guidance counselor. You may not feel like they're going to be there for you, but that's who helped me. One of my best friends is the one who suggested me to get help. She's the one who told me to talk to my counselor, and I did. And it was one of the better choices in my life. I've gotten help, and I'm getting better. And I can't thank her enough for that. She just might have saved me from something far worse. And if you feel like you're going to kill yourself, definitely, no hesitation, I'm being completely serious, no hesitation whatsoever, talk to someone, please. It will be a great help to you. I mean, it may not feel like it at first, but it will in the long run. And for the people who have heard about someone hurting themselves, don't tell anyone. Don't say anything to anyone. Please. It will hurt them more than you know. And it's just when someone decides to tell other people that their friend is cutting themselves, even if it's going to, even if they think it's going to help, it won't. Talk to that person about it. Don't talk to anyone else. If that person wants to tell someone else, they can tell someone else themselves. Because that might not be a person they wanted to know.
it could be the exact opposite. That could be the exact person they didn't want to know about. That didn't want to know about it. And it can lead to so much more. It's just the pain of being betrayed by your friend. It hurts. I know everyone has gone through it at least once in their life. But being betrayed by a friend on a subject that big, that can kill. And I'm not even exaggerating, it can kill. Like, people commit suicide because of it almost daily. And most people don't see much into it. They don't blame themselves. They blame the person who did it for being depressed in the first place. Saying, oh, they should have gotten help in the first place. They should have talked to someone in the first place. They should have talked to me in the first place, saying not to say anything. Maybe they did say not to say anything. Maybe they did try to get help. Maybe they're too scared to get help. That's how I was at first. I was scared to get help. I was scared that I was going to be mocked for it. I was scared that I was going to be shunned for it, that I wasn't going to be accepted, that I was going to be outcast just like I was before. But it helps to have someone to talk to. And even if you're that one person that they can trust to vent, you need to take that with great responsibility. Don't take it lightly. If you do, there will be consequences. You <laughs> see people who do cut. If you do, send me a message if you want to talk or anything. Talk to your friends, your family, anyone you think you can trust. Because deep down, you're strong enough to get through it. There is help for you, even if you don't feel like you need it. It's an addiction. It's like drugs. It's like alcohol. It's almost impossible to stop after a certain period of time. You need to get help with it. Talk to someone. I've said this a million times, but it is so important. Even if you feel like there's no one to turn to, there, there is someone who is willing to listen and is willing to be there. Even if that person is someone as simple as me, someone you don't even know in person. That's who I trust most of all. I trust my friends online. Really, I don't think I've ever trusted anyone more than some of my friends online. Because a lot of them understand it more than my real friends do. It might be the same way with you. It might not be. But if it is, but even if it's not, someone's going to be there to listen to you. Someone's going to be there to care, even if you don't think they will. You have to have the strength to be able to talk about it. Because if you have the strength to talk about it, you know you have the strength to get through it. So, please, just talk something. Say something to someone. Your voice is important, even if you don't think it is. It's going to make a difference if you speak up instead of staying silent about it and letting it boil inside of you. It's pretty much it. <laughs> One of my more serious videos, but thanks for listening. Like I said, just message me. Reply with a video, put it in the comments, anything, because I am willing to listen and I am willing to help you. So.